to get answers to the questions that weren't answered last Monday. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the sports update presented by Toyota. Alex Rodriguez today at 1.30 p.m. Eastern will speak to the media for the first time since admitting using steroids in a one-on-one -on -one interview last week. Now, many of the Yankees expected to be on hand just like last year when Andy Pettit held his apology session. No word yet on when the Bombers third baseman is expected to disclose, but be sure to catch the entire press conference live here on CBSSports.com. And while Rodriguez continues to try and explain his story, the Pitt Panthers will Tuesday continue to enjoy their glory of knocking off the number one team in the nation First time in school history, 76-68 the final in a game Dewan Blair called the most physical he has ever played in his life. 22 points, 23 rebounds for the sensational sophomore in the second 2020 of his career. Sam Young also huge in the game with 25 to lead all scorers. Now Hashim Thabit, he wouldn't argue with the physical characteristics of the game. The two big men got tied up going for a rebound in the first five minutes. Blair flipping Thabit over his shoulder, leaving the 7'3 Husky grabbing his arm on the ground. He returned, he was fine, but his production was not. Struggled with fouls all night and couldn't come close to repeating his own 2020 performance from Saturday. The Blair advantage, the reason the Panthers became the first team all season to out-rebound the Huskies, doing so by 17. So there will be a new number one next Monday in the AP Top 25, and come tonight, a new style of play for the Phoenix Suns. Well, sort of at least this year's team. Alvin Gentry introduced Monday as the interim head coach, taking over for Terry Porter, the eighth change in the NBA this season. Gentry saying his squad has to return to establishing the, quote, breakneck pace like we've had in the past, close quote. And that should include Amari Stoudemire, not just for tonight. Multiple reports saying the Suns won't trade the four-time All-Star or make any significant move before Thursday's 3 p.m. Eastern trade deadline. The reports say the team front office wants to see what Gentry can do with this roster, one that's a game back of Utah for eighth in the West. Now, if you're an NFL team only a quarterback short of making a Super Bowl run, maybe this is your guy. Jeff Garcia told reporters Monday that he won't be back with the Buccaneers next season. The 39-year-old said the club informed him it would be pursuing it would not be pursuing a new contract after two seasons in Tampa. Garcia in those two seasons, the second best touchdown to interception ratio in the NFL. Former Jaguars running back Fred Taylor also on the market. After 11 years with the club, the Jaguars asked him if he wanted to retire a Jaguar or be released and continue playing. And the 33-year-old assumed the latter. Taylor rushed for more than 11,000 yards those 11 seasons, the fifth most by a back with just one team. He is 16th on the all-time list, just 81 yards shy of John Riggins. All right, time for the Wits Hits, and TJ Hushmanzada has reportedly said there is a 90% chance he will not return to Cincinnati as a free agent and also thinks Chad Johnson will not either. The Celtics have made room to make a deal at the deadline, reportedly sending Sam Cassell to the Kings for future second-round picks, a move that clears up a spot on the roster for a guy who has yet to play this season. And Ken Griffey Jr. expected to decide today whether he'll return to Seattle to play for the Mariners or go to Atlanta and play for the Braves as all players are reporting to spring training. So a lot to follow today, and we'll see what comes from Alex Rodriguez and what he has to say. All that here. Be sure to follow it on the sports update presented by Toyota on Wednesday. But that's it for this edition. Enjoy the night in sports. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.